Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, so this video is about, you know, trying to get a conversation essentially out of nothing when you, you know, walk up to a girl for the first time and you're in that kind of weird and awkward situation where it's like, shit, how do I start a conversation, you know, starting from literally nothing. Um, it can be intimidating, it can be quite daunting, but the, the actual reality of it is that it doesn't actually matter that much, you know, what you actually say in the initial stages or as like the opener, um, etc. It doesn't really matter that much in comparison to the actual bulk of the conversation or the general vibe of the conversation. Um, so that's the kind of the main thing to bear in mind. Um, you probably noticed, you know, from watching my videos that I kind of start off every single interaction exactly the same way. And that's just because it kind of works, you know, a direct opener just saying, hey, excuse me, this is random. I had to say you look nice, um, blah, 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 and just go from there. Um, the opener is obviously the easy bit in terms of kind of knowing what to say because obviously it's the same thing every single time. However, it's what you say after that that's the tricky part because that's when it's like, oh shit, what do I say next? Um, you know, like I said, like what you actually say doesn't actually matter too much. Like you can literally just say, where are you from? You know, that works because it's, it's just one way to start a conversation. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit forced, maybe a bit contrived because it's like you're kind of really forcing it, you know, to get some sort of value from her. But it still works as long as like the rest of the conversation is nice and flowing and back and forth and there's investment on both ends, then it works. However, a kind of more kind of subtle, maybe more smoother version of kind of uh, progressing a conversation from the opener would be to kind of just, you know, draw something that you can see from her, like some kind of assumption about her, where she might be from. So instead of, you know, where you're, where are you from? It's like, you look like you might be from such and such a place or you look like you might be from somewhere exotic, you know, based on the fact that she's got a tan maybe or, you know, she said something briefly um, and she's got a bit of an accent or something, uh, you know, that's what I tend to do um, uh, myself. Um, I, what, what you might also notice is that, you know, immediately after the open, I, I just ask her what her name is. Um, and, and it's okay to do that because it's just, you know, a polite, friendly thing to do at that point because obviously you are just meeting a new person for the first time. And so, you know, commonly what people do in those situations is they just, you know, exchange what their name is. Um, at that point, you know, when the girl is saying what her name is and I'm saying what my name is a lot of the time what tends to happen is that they forget because they're not concentrating on what the actual name is they're concentrating oh some random guy just come up to me um, and I'm not really concentrating on what her name is I'm concentrating on you know the next thing I want to say but yeah essentially when you're you know doing these conversations you want to be able to um, transition the conversation in such a way that it's 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 kind of an, it, it, you know focusing on interesting and relevant conversation topics related to the girl or related to yourself or related to the situation um, so the easiest way to transition into that is to just kind of draw out something that you kind of notice about her so it can be anything like what she's wearing what she's doing where she was going to any kind of activity that you kind of um, notice in the moment so it's all about being present in the most in the moment and then just drawing upon what you kind of in, in what, you, what you can see basically um, and the key thing is that it doesn't have to be correct in fact it's good if it's not correct because then she can tell you and then you can be like blah 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 oh okay that's why I thought this or that's why I said this and you can have a bit of a back and forth and it's a good opportunity to develop teasers in that moment as well because if you say oh for example oh I thought you would be Polish or something and then she's like no I'm actually from such and such a place then you know that gives an opportunity to explain why you thought that and then it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong it's completely irrelevant but it's an opportunity to have a bit more of an engaging conversation rather than where are you from oh I'm from Poland oh cool I've never been to Poland is it nice there you know you want to avoid that kind of boring conversation uh, mode that a lot of you know beginner guys kind of fall into I would say that if you are someone who really kind of struggles to kind of build up that momentum in the conversation in the initial stages then um, I would say you know there's there's a few kind of key areas to kind of focus on initially so it can be her accent it can be her activity at the time, so she could have been walking, so you could comment on the fact that she's walking somewhere, um, she looked like she was rushing somewhere, you know, you could maybe tease her about the fact that 
you know she was rushing for the shops and shopping's not that important or you can be a bit you know cocky at the time and just say you know speaking to me is more important blah 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 something like that um you can comment on what she's wearing you know her fashion something like that or like you know something interesting about you know something to do with her attire or her appearance um and you can comment on what she kind of just generally looks like i guess in terms of where you think she might be from um so if you, there's a lot of just different things that you just can just pick up in the moment um, but the key is just not to kind of overthink it too much it's more it should just be something that you just spontaneously think up in the moment really um and it, and you'll find that your conversation will just be a lot more uh fluid and just more engaging if you do it that way rather than having this you know pre-planned thing in your head where it's like you're just reciting stuff that you've pre-rehearsed those it's not really ideal to do that really but yeah like i said like the initial stages are nowhere near as important as the later stages or you know in the middle of the conversation because ideally you should be aiming for at least like a you know four five six minute conversation um with the girl and so you know what you're saying in terms of like the first second or third sentence isn't really that important in the grand scheme of things it's more about the actual bulk of it so um when you um try to kind of develop a conversation you know you want to make sure that it's engaging and there's kind of like an element of you know teasing and fun um injected in the conversation because i know like a lot of guys especially beginner guys they they just have these very kind of platonic and boring conversations which you know they're playing it too safe because they they feel that that's what they have to do when it's a new person so like they don't know them well enough to kind of have like you know that banter or that uh, level of teasing and flirtation that you really do need in order to kind of you know elevate your your game to the next level really cheers for watching if you'd be interested in one to one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls or more generally with your social confidence please visit my website ed-game.com